What is up guys, it is Power Bang. Welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. We're here in the hotel room in San Francisco, actually. Wife and I are getting ready to go hit the town. She's getting ready right now, but wanted to bring you guys what's going on in our CWL war this week. We've got WHF taking on One Hive 2.0. Let's get into it. So we've had a pretty competitive war so far. 94-88 is the current score, one high 2.0, out ahead right now. But as you can see, WHS still with, looks like eight Town Hall 11 attacks left over. Two for two so far uh, for our Town Hall 11s. Our Town Hall 10s are the story. We'll get to that in just a minute. We look on the other side, uh, we've got a completely different story with one high 2.0, having used most of their Town Hall 11 attacks, only two left to use. And it uh, looks like they've missed one so far. So pretty good job on the dips from One Hive 2.0. Uh, but they're almost out of Town Hall 11 attacks, and that's where we're hoping to make up the difference. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the Town Hall 10 game. We had, so far, it looks like six Town Hall 10 triples. I want to go through those in this episode. We'll start out with three poach layup. Getting it done here in a fresh hit over Johnny Walker, number two, uh, 22. Check out the air defenses over on the left side. And you guys remember, if you watch the Dragon Guides over the past like couple weeks or so, those are absolutely perfect targets for Dragon Attacks if you can manage to, uh, you know, craftfully get that Queen Walk going and take out the majority of the air defense. So that's exactly what Three Poached is going to do here. Starts out with the Queen Walk going to the left, and he's got a wizard down there on the bottom making the funnel so that the Queen goes in the proper direction. So Queen finishes up on the Elixir Storage. Watch the timing here. Sends in the Wall Breakers before the cannon goes down, and he's going to open up that first layer of walls. Now, after the Archer Tower goes down, that's going to make the nearest wall with buildings inside of it uh, available, and there he is. Double layer wall break here. Drops the Rage Spell just in case the Wall Breakers have trouble getting through, which they don't. And now it's off to the races. The Queen has a path going straight into this base. And then he's going to drop in a Wizard and uh, a few more on the left for the funneling. And watch how the King over there will be tanking the cannons while the Wizards kind of back everything up. So it's a really, really, uh, you know, thoughtfully done attack so far. And he's got a runway straight into the center of this base, all the way to the backside Inferno Tower. And those three wizards on the left side, those are absolutely clutch. They're essentially doing a wizard walk right now with the king, and they are going to take out um, the air defense, which is absolutely perfect. They lock on, getting it done. Meanwhile, dragons doing work in the thin little runway that is left over from the queen charge. So you can see them coming in. We've got balloons coming in from the right side, taking out that very dense air defense portion of the base. Not air defenses, but air targeting defenses, rather. And just really, really nicely done. Balloons finish up taking out a couple more buildings. Absolutely clutch. Several dragons left up uh, still in this base. But you know it's done at this point because he does have... Dragon Wiz on the edge over here with the Queen still up and healers alive. So you know this was absolutely smash. King still lives and Three Poach Layup gets it done for the three star fresh on Johnny Walker. So nice hit, dude. Uh, three Poach Layup also had a, uh, a six pack this war. So we're going to go ahead and show his second attack. This one is a cleanup attack on uh, Mouthpiece 74. And what do you know? He's bringing the dragons once again. Uh, notice the... Uh, air defenses over here on the left all to one side of the base so what's he gonna do same exact thing drops in the queen and she is going to be going to her right which is our left going around the base counterclockwise here to try to get all of these air defenses taken out now one key uh, little point i want you guys to key in on the number of wall breakers literally 18 wall breakers in this one because look at how deep these air defenses are uh in the base so he opens up this first layer Beautiful, and that is going to get the uh, CC lure. The queen's eventually going to go in there to the air defense here, and she will lock on first, though, to the balloon and the golem. So CC's got to get taken care of first. While the, uh, the archer tower is locked on, he opens up the next layer of walls so the queen can go straight through, and then sends in even more wall breakers here to open up the, uh, the last compartment. The Mortar clips the very last one, so unfortunately he doesn't quite get what he needs, but luckily he, he brought 18 Wall Breakers, so he's going to be just fine as far as number of Wall Breakers are concerned. But I cannot believe that he brought that much camp space, 36 camp space just for Wall Breakers, but with the value he's going to get for this Queen, 
uh, it's absolutely perfect. Now, so much value up top as well. Looks like the Wizards cleared out some buildings. Uh, but I'm really interested in seeing kind of where this charge goes. He sends in another wall breaker. This one's a test. Gets the giant bomb, sends in several more wall breakers. He's going to keep going, uh, continuing the theme of taking out these air defenses. And this is one of the craziest charges I think I've seen in quite some time. So he takes out the elixir storage and he's going to head in now to get the cannon and then ultimately... Uh, another air defense here. That is the goal. Air defense is going to lock on. Probably going to see another rage spell, possibly an ability here. Uh, but anyway, drag loon in from the top. And it looks like the air defense is locked on to healers rather than dragons. So there it is. Looks like the ability was already used. So no, uh, no risk there for the queen to uh, pop hers. Anyways, in the center, it looks like the loons have finished up. Dragons lock on to the Inferno Tower. And the queen finally goes down. So it's up to the dragons now uh, and the king, I suppose, to get the rest of this done. Last rage spell is used. And he gets, uh, not lucky, but holy cow, this was very, very close. He gets down to one final breath uh, here on the uh, air defense. Two more dragons left alive. The king still left up. If the king can survive, um, that is actually pretty good. Mortars are firing at him. But he is down to the last little bit of this base. And it looks like the dragons, once the mortar goes down, uh, the air defense will be targeted. And um, look at that. The air defense targets uh, a full health dragon. So you know it's getting wrecked. That is going to do it for this one. Close call towards the end, but just a ridiculous charge. Look at all those broken wall segments. Nice work to three push this was war. That is the second Town Hall 10 triple for the WHF side so far. Let's go down to the third. Hookie still has an attack left to do. He's already got one three-star in the bag. Uh, it looks like he is going to be bringing bowlers, witches, and some healers in this one. So, uh, again, trying to get down a very accessible base. You see how there's openings in the core. Uh, really don't need a whole lot of, you know, access here. If you can just use a jump spell, you get pretty much all of the value that you need. So he's going to start on the right with the, uh, the queen doing a little bit of a walk. And then bowler skips on the top here. Witches are going to go down the side, so that's uh, he's going to get a lot of value out of that, it looks like. Distracting the expo as well. But I'm guessing a jump spell right on top of this gold storage is, is where I would go here to open up uh, this core piece. Basically, you want it to go to the wizard tower, but not bleed into the expo compartment. So there it is, perfectly done. That is going to get them to the core, and that'll get them all the way to both Inferno Towers, the CC, the enemy Archer Queen, so this is looking really, really good so far. And because he's gone with a ground-based army in the core, the Lava Loon is not going to bother him at all. So the bowler's just absolutely wrecking stuff. Heal spell done, uh, they're just out of range of the second Inferno Tower, so that kind of gets everything out of uh, you know danger and back up to full health before they go in. And there it is, the bowlers lock onto the Inferno before the freeze comes out. And this, this base is getting absolutely torched. What is with the open wall piece down here, too? Um, I don't know what that's all about, but uh, the king is going to get all the way to the backside of the... I, was this a broken base? Like, what? I, what? It, this is one of the more interesting bases I've seen in a while at Town Hall 10. So just like a free pass to the core to both Inferno Towers and then a free pass out of the core... Um, really don't know what was going on there with this design, but hey, we'll take advantage of it. Hookie getting the queen walk going around the outside. Still has bowlers and witches up. Uh, skellies are going to take the rest of this, no problem. So we're going to fast forward through the rest of this, getting it done. Nice work to uh, Hookie on that. All right, guys, next up, we are going to, uh, well, let's watch a live attack. Why not? We got one going on live right now. And it's a, it's a dragon attack here. Again, offset air defenses, so you know what he's going to be trying to do. Five healers on the queen. John P. trying to uh, clean this base up. Fat Joe already two-starred here, so he's got a pretty good idea of where the traps are and what he's got to do to alter his plan in order to get that three-star done. So John P., I believe, has already gotten one triple this war, so he's going to be going for his second triple now. Uh, this is, <laughs> man, so many guys at Town Hall 10 that are have already either six-packed or are in, the, in, in line to six-pack if things go their way. Uh, so now the queen, uh, that crucial point where does she go left, does she go right, she does go the proper direction, the wizard tower stays up over there. 
going good so far. And Moise Asim, thank you so much for the new sub on YouTube. You are today's subscriber of the day, guys. If you are watching and not currently subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys click the button, click the little bell for you get you get the notifications and whatnot. And then you'll uh, catch me if I'm live recording. You'll have that pop up live on screen. So. Uh, very nice entry so far, but the air defense is roasting these healers somehow, even though they are out of range. Yeah, gotta love that little little bug. You can see the shadows on the field outside of the range of the air defense, yet um, the air defense roasts them all. So this is not looking uh, like a three star here for Jean P. I, you know, this is a bug that a lot of us have have discussed internally in WHF and it's really frustrating. He, sh he still does, I mean, imagine if he had all those healers still, he got three air defenses with this, um, but I just don't think it's gonna be enough. He's got too much base to get through still. Um, you know, I, I could be wrong here. He's gonna have the loons come in from the right side early and try to shape it so that those dragons go through the core. So hay spell should come down, there it is. And there it is, uh, the balloons are gonna push through. So this is gonna fall short most likely, I'd fast forward it, but I do kinda wanna see how far he gets here. So, Expo is down, he's got four dragons alive in the core, one going around the flank, the one on the flank's gonna die at this point. And it looks like the uh, the king and wizard's going around the backside. Now, interesting uh, little point here, the king is tanking, and if he can stay alive long enough, which it doesn't look like he's going to, I was gonna say the wizard could step up and take out this cannon so he can end up getting the, uh, the air defense, but it's not gonna happen. We're gonna back out, Jompy does not. Uh, end up being successful on that attack. We're gonna go to the next one though. Uh, this is gonna be Red. Red taking out Lazarus Long here. Let's go, I believe it was number 19. There it is, we'll click that replay. Red getting a fresh hit done here as well. And he's gonna be bringing the Laloon attack on this one. Couple of bowlers here, probably for the funneling. There it is, getting nice skip damage there on both collectors. Where's the other one? Or did he just bring one? It looks like he just brought one. All right, so now we've got King and Queen. They are gonna be doing a little suicide entry and you see how those buildings being broken are absolutely huge because now we know the Queen is not going to walk to her left. She is gonna step in, the King's gonna go around the wall and he's just getting some really nice value here as far as the, uh, the Queen's concerned. She's gonna step in, try to get the enemy Archer Queen as well as possibly some uh, really valuable air targeting defense here and create pathing straight to the Inferno Tower. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how that goes. Here is an ability by the Queen, very nicely used. Gonna take out this storage and then head into the base, it looks like. Um, could have uh, could have been better on the targeting there, but that's okay. Red's gonna target, oh, it's just beautiful. Targets the Wizard Tower, it is down, and now he's got a beautiful path lined up right to the Inferno Tower. Queen actually walks out of range. Look at that, she walks out of range and she's gonna go hop on the edge of the ring there. Almost got the uh, cannon in time, she would have had her for the cleanup. But now we've got a free spell in there, we've got rages, everything going pretty well so far for red. Even gets the uh, the air defense and the core there with that first group of balloons. And then it's just a, su uh, a surgical laloon basically coming in with targeted loons from the outside. Really nicely done there. And then a rage spell getting that huge group to the inferno tower. You're gonna follow that up with a heal spell uh, just like so. That's gonna keep everything up in that Tesla farm wizard tower situation. So fast forwarding through the rest of this, Red absolutely destroying uh, this base. I'm really happy to see this performance after last week's lackluster performance uh, from our guys. It, you know, we I think we came out a little bit upset, like we wanted to kind of, you know, redeem ourselves, so to speak. But we'll have to wait and see if that actually is reflected in the final score. So then we got Jean P on his first attack. Jean P hitting Lima here. He is going to have all of those offset air defenses, but instead of going with dragons, he is choosing to go with the level three miners. Uh, so there it is, we've got a queen coming in on the right side. Look at this ability. He actually is able to get direct targets there to the Inferno with balloons and he gets it taken out. So not only does he get the Inferno for cheap, uh, but he's able to get those miners to the left side of the base. Really, really impressive stuff here as far as pathing is concerned. And then on the bottom, we've got the king kind of doing some tanking for miners. Gets a nice split there and uh, really nice work on this one, Jean-Pi. This, uh, this was cool, like the entry with the uh, balloons to open up pathing to the uh, Inferno Tower. Awesome stuff. So the rest is just clean up, heal spell, kind of make sure everything is not going to die to a Lava Hound, but another three star for the good guys. We'll go ahead and see if there are any more. I believe there might be one more for our side um, this war. We did have... Uh, 
couple 95s there. Nope, that was it. Jompy uh, with the, the 100 didn't quite get it on the second one. We had Red with one, Three Poach Layup with two, Hookie with one, and then, ah, that's what it was. Ricky Clasher. I knew I was missing one. So we we didn't get Ricky Clasher. Uh, also with the, essentially the Suicide uh, Hero Lalo. And this is such a, such a good attack. He really likes using this attack. He swears by it, and I think it's uh, really fantastic. So what you're gonna see is some funneling efforts here. And then the heroes kinda come in first and get some value, like whatever they can, can get essentially. So here comes the king and queen, and you can see that the, the goal here is to get uh, an air defense most likely, and then possibly clear out pathing to the Inferno Tower. So you see how he kind of walked up the wall there? This is really, really interesting. So he's going to be able to use his Queen ability and then transfer tanking to the Giant. So there it is. He does get the... Wow. So now there is direct pathing opened up to the Inferno Tower. Really, really solid entry there. So much value. And it looks like the balloons are actually going to take out uh, the threat to the Queen. So she is alive for the cleanup now. So I mean... That is like immense value, guys. Being able to send in your heroes by themselves, unprotected, get in, you know, an air defense and all kinds of supporting defense, and then have the queen actually survive uh, to help with the cleanup process. So really, really solid stuff. The balloons working their way through. He still has a haste spell here. Uh, we got to kind of hurry them through, and let's see if he targets the inferno directly. He does not. He opts not to target it directly, but he sends in some late balloons here to make sure they are full health going into the inferno tower and they should make make uh, through that section no problem at all. So he's got one more Tesla left, and it does look like the uh, the balloons get there, take it out with no problem. Uh, Queen finally goes down on the backside to a bomb. That is okay, though. Ricky Clash, you get it done for WHF, guys. So that is the story of the war so far. Six Town Hall 10 triples for uh, WHF. We do have the lead on three stars with six fewer attacks, and we have a lot of Town Hall 11 still left to go. Eight of them, to be exact. So that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I'm going to go out, do some exploring in the city. Uh, it is my anniversary today, so we're going to go out, have some good lunch, good dinner, uh, do some hanging out in San Fran before we go back tomorrow, and then I'm back in the office tomorrow night. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel for more Clash of Cleanse action. This is Power Bang. I'll catch you guys in the next one.